Hello everybody and welcome to Ignite 2018. I'm here with Andy from Igneous and uh, well, how's it going? It's going pretty well so far. We've uh, had a lot of uh, turnout so far at the booth and uh, getting a lot of good interest. Gotcha. So, well, let's kick it off with that. Where's the booth? Uh, yeah, we're over in uh, 843. Uh, we're over in the, the main expo hall. Fantastic. And so what, what brings you guys to Ignite? There's obviously a lot of IT pros around. There's, well, over 30,000 people here. But what specifically, you know, what are you guys showing off? What's, what's going on in your world? Yeah, so we're focused on data protection for enterprise scale customers, people that have lots and lots of particularly unstructured data. Mm -hmm. um, so one of the things that we do is we provide our customers the ability to uh, easily move that data to the cloud. Um, so we can replicate that data from their on-premise location to uh, the cloud. Um, so what we're here talking about is our in integration with Azure for all those customers customers that have a lot of unstructured data and so far have not been able to figure out a great strategy to get that data into the cloud, um, whether it's for protection, long-term retention, uh, you know, what have you. They want to integrate the public cloud into their workflow, mm -hmm. haven't done so yet, so we're really trying to find those customers so we can help them uh, develop those strategies and come up with a good way to get that data into the cloud. And just for clarity's sake, can you just give us an example of unstructured data? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, so unstructured data is typically file data, so uh, anything besides your VMs and uh, databases, things like that. Unstructured would be more like your images, audio files, uh, you know, user-generated data, lots of machine-generated data. Um, it's actually the fastest growing uh, category of data in, in enterprises today. Um, like 90% of data growth for the next five years is expected to be in the unstructured category just because of all of the new uh, machine-generated gener sources that are now churning out a massive amount of data. Yeah, and it's, well, data and storage is always going to be a hot topic because you've got data, you got storage, you got backup, you got recovery. It all, it all it all falls around data. And so how do you guys help a customer? So are you helping them from the on-prem to the cloud? Are you helping them through the migration process? Where's the, you know, where do you guys fall into that narrative? Yeah, so uh, our focus is on uh, data protection. So the way that we uh, handle it is we are a back-end uh, uh, appliance delivered as a service. It's, uh, wow. it's, we have a hardware and software appliance that actually installs inside our customer's uh, data, uh, data center. And then from there, we're going to run your, your daily, your weekly backups, you know, what have you, for protection um, with that option to then tier that data to the cloud if you want to start to constrain that uh, data center uh, growth, that data center footprint growth uh, for your secondary tier, as well as your primary tier. You know, we have a, a backup uh, protection as well as an archive protection solution um, that allows customers to really customize uh, you know, what they're looking for from a data protection standpoint and control costs. Gotcha. And so when you say data protection, are you talking ransomware? Are you talking accidental deletion? You know, where, where are you talking? Yeah, yeah. So all of the above. So we are uh, an immutable object store, so we can certainly help with a ransomware uh, protection strategy. But our 90% you know, use case is your, your everyday backup use case where you have a, an end user that has deleted some file they shouldn't have, something's gotten corrupted, something's disappeared from their workflow and they need to go grab it. But there's also the extreme circumstances where you have a disaster situation. You know, you've lost an entire filer. Uh, you know, some type of natural disaster has occurred. You have some cyber attack and we can help with those things as well. When, when you have the on-premises uh, and hybrid uh, solution that allows you to tier that data to the cloud, um, it kind of gives you the best of both, where you have that immediate access for the you know single files, but you have the, uh, the whole system backed up to a cloud so that you can restore a large swaths gotcha. of data when you need it. Gotcha, and that's it, always good to know. And so what are the trends you're seeing in the backup world? Obviously, there's thousands of people here talking about data and all sorts of good stuff. What are you hearing in the industry? Where's it headed? Yeah, uh, so I mean, the the biggest trend is obviously just data growth. Uh, people are now generating and have, having to store and maintain a significantly a large amount of unstructured data that is growing uh, even faster than people could have predicted. So with that comes uh, strains on you know uh, older technologies, people that had been relying on things like tape or disk-to-disk -disk replication. As you start to grow from the you know terabytes into the petabytes or exabytes or whatever uh, you know scale you're talking about, new challenges start to uh, to grow out of that, and uh, the older technology just can't really keep up with that. Um, so people are really looking to grow how they protect and manage their data on premises and, and the cloud is part of that strategy, um, as well as you just need technologies and protocols and data movement practices that can keep up with this massive explosion of uh, un unstructured data. Gotcha. It's all about data, folks. They always say data is the new oil, but I always kind of think it's like more like the new gold because, <laughs> well, they're both valuable, but data is becoming increasingly valuable, especially as AI goes, grow, is growing up and everything else. And so um, tell us a little bit more about you. Where, where's your company founded? Where are you from? 
Yeah, uh, so our company was founded in 2013. Um, you know, our, our founders came from a background uh, working at uh, Isilon and NetApp, some of the biggest names in, in uh, uh, you know, file data. Um, and uh, we went pub or we our product became available in 2016. So we've been around for a few years now. Uh, we are located in Seattle, Washington. Oh, okay. um, so right right across the water from uh, from Microsoft. Uh, so kind of in that cloud hub with a lot of cloud background. A lot of our engineers came from uh, you know Amazon and you know Microsoft with that uh, cloud experience. So we have a lot of uh, expertise in both file and cloud principles um, that really allows us to deliver our uh, product with a, a cloud deployment principles with an on-premise solution. And all of this is bundled up and delivered as a service, which is a pretty unique uh, qualifier for us in the in this space. Interesting. And if people want to learn more, what's uh, what's the best way to get a hold of you? Yeah, the best place is to check out uh, igneous.io. It's our uh, homepage and you have all of our contact information as well as all of our new product announcements there. Well, fantastic. We appreciate you stopping by and uh, thanks for tuning in, everybody.